Hey guys, this is Nyla from 4-Pack Parties and today I'm going to be showing you how I put together this tropical floral garland. So first you want to start off by measuring exactly how many of these foam blocks you're going to need depending on the size of your backdrop. And in this case we just needed three of them because um, the palm leaves, uh, they stick out enough and you don't want the foam blocks to show underneath obviously. Um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to figure out how you're attaching um, this to whatever backdrop you're using. In this case, we use zip ties so that we could easily just slide it um, right on. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to start to play with the flowers and figure out the placement of the flowers. Um, this you just kind of have to eyeball it. Um, in this case we left some of the stems long as you can see here. Just the way that you know it fit with the, um, with the flower garland. So when you cut the flowers, you want to make sure that you're leaving at least a little bit of the stem on for the ones that are in the center because obviously you need it to stick into the foam and if it's too short, it's just going to fall out. Another tip is if you're unsure of what type of flowers are tropical flowers, you can just search this online ahead of time. Uh, we were lucky enough to find tropical flowers on sale at Michael's for about 70% off. So if you go towards like the end of the season, which would be around mid-July, you can easily find flowers at a discount. So there you have it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be posting videos every Wednesday. See ya.